Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the Proverbs and we're in chapter 1 and today we're looking at verses 7 to 9. Verse 7 very simply says, Yirat Adonai Heshita'at the, the awe of the Lord is the source of knowledge. Now these words are just so powerful, they're so full of meaning. Uh, yirat, yirat in, in Hebrew it doesn't mean terror, there's another word for terror, it means awe, it means standing before God and just going, wow God, you're amazing. So being able to stand before God and say, wow, you're amazing, is actually the source of knowledge. Now, knowledge here is not just knowing about things, but actually experience is involved here in this word da'at. And it's the reshit da'at. Reshit means the, the beginning of. Um, it's the very first word of the scriptures, bereshit, in the beginning, as the source, as the start of everything. So it says that without this awe of God, without this acknowledgement of who God is and standing in wonder before him, there's really no knowledge. There's no point in going forward. We can't know anything without having that awe of God. And then uh, the Mishle, the, 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 the Proverbs go on to talk about um, to talk about the parenting uh, and the importance of uh, both the correction and the discipline of the father and interestingly the Torah of the mother here in verse 8. Uh, the Musar of the father. Musar is not, it's not about physical punishment, it's actually about direction. It's about taking someone, taking a child in the right way and correcting that direction when it goes off beam. And interestingly, the Torah of the mother, it says, uh, accept that don't despise the Torah of your mother. Now, this is the Torah, the word that's used for the first five books of the scriptures. It's the words that is often translated, I, I would say not completely correctly, as law. But you can't talk about the law of your mother. No, this word Torah actually is about the instruction that a child receives at his mother's knee. It's about the nurture. It's about the growing. And this is what it's talking about with the mother and therefore also draws on that idea of the Torah of the Lord, the nurture, the instruction of the Lord. And the Proverbs writer is saying, don't despise the correction of the father or the instruction, the nurture of the mother. These are things that when they are established in, uh, in someone's life actually will keep them, not just for their childhood, but through their whole life. And that's why in verse 9, the writer of the Proverbs, Solomon, says that uh, these will be a garland about your neck. These will be a, a, a chain of office, in a sense. These will be a necklace. There will be a, something of beauty, something that is seen uh, as, as guarding your, your whole being. And, and this is the importance of wisdom because also wisdom and it says that wisdom and understanding are despised by fools uh, and wisdom is as we've said is something very important chokhma in hebrew is a very important concept and it's not just wisdom about knowing facts it's wisdom that is put into action so da'at knowledge uh, wisdom chokhma uh, they're, they're both words that have to do with action and so as we consider our own way, as we consider the ways that we have received from others, we consider all the input that we've received, these are the things that will guard, that will bring us forward in God. But the basis of it all, the start of it all, is this ability to be able to stand before God and just go, wow, God, you are amazing. May we do that today and find that to be the source of all our experience. Have a good day.